after United Nations lectured India on its policy over the Rohingyas, India has given a befitting response to the UNHCR by questioning its selectivity over the issue. India has claimed that the UN has jumped to a conclusion and has overlooked the nation's human rights records. Let's take a listen. We recognize the role assigned to the OHCHR in effective promotion and protection of human rights. <laughs> India was part of the first set of countries in the third cycle of the UPR review. India's UPR report will be adopted in this session of HRC. We are pleased to inform you that a large number of recommendations have been accepted. We believe that the UPR is not an end in itself and that observance and promotion of human rights is an ongoing process that can be continuously strengthened. Mr. President, we are perplexed at some of the observations made by the High Commissioner in his oral update. There appears to be inadequate appreciation of the freedoms and rights that are guaranteed and practiced daily in a vibrant democracy that has been built under challenging conditions. Tendentious judgments made on the basis of selective and even inaccurate reports do not further the understanding of human rights in any society. Like many other nations, India is concerned about illegal migrants, in particular with the possibility that they could pose security challenges. Enforcing the laws should not be mistaken for lack of compassion. It is also surprising that individual incidents are being extrapolated to suggest a broader societal situation. India is proud of its independent judiciary, freedom of press, vibrant civil society and respect for rule of law and human rights. A more informed view would not only have recognized this, but also noted, for example, that the Prime Minister himself publicly condemned violence in the name of cow protection. India does not condone any actions in violation of law, and imputations to the contrary are not justified. We have also noted that the issue of human rights situation in Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir has been raised. It is a matter of regret that the central role of terrorism is once again being overlooked. Assessments of human rights should not be a matter of political convenience. India believes that achieving human rights goals calls for objective consideration, balanced judgments and verification of facts. Our government's motto of Sabka Saat Sabka Vikas, that is, all together and development for all, is a true reflection of our commitment to achieve inclusive development in the spirit of leaving none of our citizens behind. Thank you, Mr. President.